Hi guys, this is David from Arzaman Engineering and in this short video I will introduce the new entry of the SmartPid controller family. I have called SmartPid M5 Mini due to this very compact and minimal size, but despite of the size it is very powerful with all the smart features of the classical SmartPid. What are the main differences? The main differences apart from the size is that Besides the classical temperature control, so heating, cooling and thermostatic control, you can do through this environmental sensor also humidity control. So you can drive a humidifier and the humidifier same way you control the temperature. There is another possibility for to connect also a classical sensor like this on the bottom connection port. So you can have both the environmental sensor and the classic temperature sensor. The power is provided by USB Type-C connectors, but you have also an internal small backup battery, so in case the power fails, you don't lose your process. The other main characteristics is that the control unit is completely standalone. You can net probes, you run your process, while the relay and the power part is completely separated. I have used this Shelly 2.5 nice smart Wi Fi relay, and in this example, I have embedded in this control box. Here we are simulating heating and cooling process, and everything is controlled peer to peer through Wi-Fi connection. Just an example, here I can switch on, off, on, off through wireless connection, the relay. So this allows you to place the control unit in a different position towards the relay. You can, for example, stick this on your fridge door through magnets or to optional brackets, and then put the control part in a separate Place. This increases flexibility and provide you a more compact solution. Let's try it now to simulate a complete control cycle. I have a set point of 25. I'm increasing with my fingers the temperature to reach the set point. Just a little bit more and you will see what happens. 24.9, 25. Here you see now the both relay are off since we reached the set point. I put an hysteresis of 0 0.5. Let's go a little bit further to 25.5. Here you see the cooling relay now switches on, and if we wait a while, we go back again to the set point level. 25, so both relay are off, and now if temperature decreases to 24.5, I would expect that the heating element switches on again. As you can see, we are also Wi-Fi connected, and all the data are pushed to the cloud for remote control through the hub. 24.5. Few seconds more. Here it is. As you see, the eating element is switched off again. So this is all for now. I will provide next days all the technical information. Hope really you like this concept uh, and this uh, way to manage the power part through wireless connection. And uh, that's the first final prototype. The, all the kit will be available very soon. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned.